Hello. Um, if you have a load, if you come over from the UK and you have a load of 15 mil plumbing fittings like, like I did, you probably don't want to replace them all with 16 or 14 mil French ones. Um, I've, I see, you get you see this on forums all the time, and there's all sorts of different ways that people seem to say, or oh, you can put 15 pipe, you can sort of solder 16 pipe over 15 pipe if you expand it, and things like this. But I found that. The easiest thing to do is the French connectors, the DN8, and I think these are the 16mm female. You get more flexible connectors, you can also get solid um, adapters. Go straight onto a 15mm little ball of fix isolating valve, you screw straight on. But the only thing is, what I found is that probably these would be alright because they've got little washers in, as you can see. But you get these, the, the face on there, on the isolating valve, is designed to take, like it does in there, it's designed to take a little 15mm um, olive, it's just a compression fitting. And so it's not, you know, fair enough, it's not particularly well engineered. So what, what I have found is that when you put these in at first, they leak. But I'll show you how I get around that. So yeah, what, what we want to achieve is a nice flat machine surface on there. You do need a decent diamond plate for this. I don't think you do it particularly well or anything else, but if you've got a knife, if you've got a sharpening plate, flat, nice flat one like that, a bit of honing fluid. <laughs> That now is a pretty much perfectly flat machine surface. And so that then makes into there really nicely and I found I don't I don't get any uh, leaks at all with that. A bit of uh, PTFE or boss white or something on there. Just as normal on the thread and that, that goes great. And then you've got 15 mil in and you've got the French European 16 mil out. Female there, this one's gonna go straight onto a shower um, so that'll screw straight on but like I say you can get a just an adapter, like a, a reducer from 16 to, f to 14. Um, that won't have a washer in it, so you really need to machine them down for that. But it, it seems to work great. I mean, all the usual YouTube caveat supply. I'm not, you know, I'm not a plumber. I'm not an expert. This might be the completely wrong way of doing it. But what I can say, I've used it on a dozen or so joints over the last year. And to touch wood, <laughs> this is a nice big lump of wood. They um, they haven't leaked. It's worked great. So easier than messing about trying to get 14 mil pipe into 15 or 15 mil copper into 16. Or I think you can get actual adapters, but they're difficult to get and they're expensive. So seems to work great that.